Good morning everyone myself Pulkit Verma from ABS Institute of Technology Ghaziabad today i am here for presenting my final year project presentation on plant leaf disease detection using image processing so here are the team members i pulkit verma manik arya and simran sharma under the supervision of mr krishna bihari dubey sir assistant professor department of computer science and engineering now my team member manik arya will continue further thank you pulkit here is the introduction of my project our project is based on finding the bacterial blight in the plant using deep learning and implementation in android here is the tools and techniques that i used first of all i used java second i used android studio and third i used my pycharm or jupiter two techniques first of all i used cnn convolutional neural network then material layout for android third one is cpu to mobile format conversion fourth one is interconnection using tensor flow or about the project the android application developed for the purpose provide the service while keeping in mind the ease for the user to interact with it the application provide a handy camera integration to allow the farmer to click an image of crop he wishes to diagnose here is the cause in past days and present farmer are usually detecting the crop disease using their naked eye which make them to take a tough decision on which fertilizer to use it required detailed knowledge a type of disease and a lot of experience needed to make sure the actual disease detection some of the disease look almost similar to the farmer often leaves them into confusion state goal of the project we have collected and continue to collect tens of thousand of images of disease and healthy crop in the form of data set for our project data set we are using the website name kegel for our data set here is the sample of leaf blight first of all you can see here bacterial leaf spot then late blight then early blight this is the flow chart or structure of my project first of all click the image then load image then get into the dl matching the spot of the images then blight percentile here the algorithm calculate the blight percentile and then prevention and cure and here the last part of success understanding representation i use many layers for example input layer hidden layer output layer. and uh, here is image pre processing first of all read image resize image remove noise segmentation morphology and here is image segmentation meaning breakdown of image into small pieces and then try to match with data set and here is the conventional neural network cnn conventional neural network is one of the main categories to do image recognition image classification object detection object recognition and uh, etc here is layer in cnn input layer convo layer pooling layer fc layer softmax layer output layer this is the input layer of cnn it should take the input and here is the convo layer convo layer is something called feature extractor layer because feature of the image are get extracted within this layer and uh, this is the pooling layer pooling layer is used to reduce the spectacle volume of the input image after convolutional and here is the fully connected layer fc layer fully connected layer involve weight biases and neurons rlu activation and this is the softmax logistics layer softmax or logistics layer is the layer of cnn it reside at the end of the fc layer you can see and here is the logistic is used for binary classification and softmax is used for multi classification 
implementation phase load and pre process the image dataset train the image classifier on your dataset convert model generate file to the tensorflow lite android dependencies tensorflow lite navigation view google material design advanced 3d drawer card view here is the project result and this is training and testing result yeah. and this is the output screen on the left side you can see the apple healthy on the right side you can see the apple cedar apple rust and the limitation of my project we have listed the common remedies but it can't predict the remedies for the specific blight for that we have to develop a recommendation system to predict it correct this is the future work customized trained module will be attached to the android app function mapping with module and app this is the reference of my project and uh, you can scan on this qr code for getting more details on my project now my team member simran sharma will continue further thank you manik here is our application leaf blight detection using image processing which is used for detecting the disease of a leaf using the image processing here application have three buttons gallery detect and camera using the camera button you can click the image of a leaf and detect the disease of a leaf and using the help of the gallery button you can choose an image as an image of leaf and detect it using the detect button now i am here with you to help how our application is works first of all you have to click on click camera button then click the image of an leaf then click on tick button then detect button here is an tomato tomato yellow leafed curl world where confidence is 0.989352 i am here with you with another example of leaf with same step click on tick button then detect button here is a cherry including sure where confidence is 0.6159346 i am here with you with another example of leaf to detect the disease with orange confidence is 0.76457 now i am here with you with showing how our gallery button works to detect the disease of an image now detect button Here is potato early blight with confidence is zero point four zero six zero three five one eight. I am here with another leaf. This is grey black rot with confidence is zero point six three eight six nine four one seven. Thank you. Now I am showing the success of our project as a research paper published in DRS Research Journal under the UGC Care Group 1. So here are our research paper which are published in DRS Research Journal under the University Grant Commission UGC Care Group 1.
so these are the certificates of our team member you can check out on the official website drsgeneral.com at the end of the presentation thank you everyone for joining us thank you